What's up, everybody? Welcome to the show. This right here is another Gray Zone Warfare video. We're going to be talking about the topic that everybody's talking about with Gray Zone Warfare, which is PvP. Here's the deal. I played the game as it's meant to be played. I completed the tasks. I leveled up. I read the descriptions with the missions, and I moved through the game how you're meant to play the game. And here's the truth. PvP is all over the place, naturally. It's everywhere. If you get out of the starter areas, if you do the 8 to 15 hours, depending on what you're doing, of learning the starter area, doing those initial tasks, you will start to unlock LZs at different POIs. And guess what? So do the other factions and the players in those factions. So just like if you're playing Tarkov and everybody's rushing to get the gold pocket watch on customs, it will occur naturally and it will occur a lot. We're doing a play test, right? Ladies and gentlemen, people are not going to understand how to play it. I've been in games with huge and I mean big time content creators that are asking me and the people I'm playing with what they should do next because they're all focused on trying to find the PVP. Respectfully, everybody, just play the game. If you play the game, it's going to find you and it's going to find you a lot. We've traveled to a bunch of neutral EOIs like Midnight Sapphire, The Bunker, Hunter's Paradise, Tiger Bay. And I'm not lying when I tell you that 50% to 80% of the time we're there, there are other teams there and we're there early. There's a lot of people still doing the starter missions. In a few days, as more people start to unlock these areas, I can promise you your favorite streamer, your favorite content creator, you're going to start seeing them naturally have PVP. I cannot give my opinion on if I like or dislike avocados unless I've tasted them. So what these streamers are doing is they're loading in, they're getting bored of the starter areas because they're, you know, good at the game, and they are running on foot to other starter areas where there's no gear, it's low level loot, it's players also trying to learn the game, and they're not having to worry about PvP because they're with their faction, and then they're calling it forced online, forced PvP. Ladies and gentlemen, play the game, level up, go to these areas, get the higher tier loot, do the story, and I am telling you, more than half the time, Someone is going to be there with you from an enemy faction trying to kill you and get what you have because you're all sharing the same storyline. It's not that hard to figure out, guys. A second topic that I wanted to go over was LZ camping. This is another misinterpretation of how the gameplay is supposed to happen. Again, you progress fastest and get the most out of the game when you do the stories, level up, get large amounts of XP for completing tasks. There is no incentive to even mess around with LZs. Like when we land at LZs or when we're leaving, we're not hanging around there. Sometimes there's other factions. There was recently a video of me fighting a couple streamers that were coming into my LZ, but I was waiting for my extraction. Their helicopter came in when mine was two minutes away. And you can see in the long form video, my helicopter's coming as I'm fighting them. There's not a huge incentive to sit around LZs and kill people and get their gear. You can do it for clips and be fun and all that stuff, but you're not getting any XP. You're not getting any missions done. You're not unlocking new things. You're just killing players. And there are no missions, nothing like that. Even the certification systems we have yet to see. They're not going to be around doing stuff like that. It will be around playing the game as it's intended. Look at their logo. Their logo tells you how the game is supposed to be played. You have your three points, and then you have the three tier three areas, Midnight Sapphire, Tiger Bay, and Fort Nerith. I think that's how you say it. It's not hard. You're going to play, you're going to level up, and you're going to go into these areas where PvP is going to be abundant. It's already abundant for us, and I think we're probably, you know, on the top half or top, you know, 10 or 15% of people that actually have tasks in that area. So I can't imagine this game, you know, when it comes out and you're two or three months into a wipe, it's going to be hard to get away from PVP. They completely undersold it. You're going to hear shots, helicopters, all this stuff to let you know that there are players in the area. And again, that can be happening to you on the flip side. High stakes gameplay. So yes, these two misconceptions, I think, uh, I think in time, not just from me, but from everybody participating, they're going to show you that they're wrong. It's a slow start. And if you want to come into this game and just PVP, you're going to not have a good time. You're going to have to put in a few hours, unlock these places, unlock the gear, get incentivized to go to these places. And it's going to happen naturally. And when it does, that makes it more fun. That makes it more entertaining. That hooks you more because it's the unknown, right? It's not spawning in factory on Tarkov and knowing where all the spawns are and fighting. It's the unknown, but it's there, and it's there often. The topic of PvP in this game is widely, trust me, is widely misunderstood. So that's all I have for this video, guys. I just figured I would share my two cents on it. 
If you've not done it yet, make sure you join the Caliber Collective. I'm going to put a link in the description below. More Gray Zone content coming today or tomorrow. Make sure you check out my Twitch too. I'm probably live. I'll catch you guys on the next video. Thank you.